Hello guys and welcome back to this uh, next lecture from this course on how to use Groove Funnels to build uh, uh, websites, pages, uh, sales pages and whole funnels for your online business. Basically this is the place where you want to, uh, to go if you want to build uh, your whole online business. Okay, you can do that. Now after you log in uh, to the dashboard, we have already uh, covered this, uh, this part in the previous lectures but we will talk about it uh, again you have seen how you can create different pages you have seen how you can create uh, a funnel now let me show you or let us show you how you can create an actual product you know a product that you can put a price on a product that you can actually sell because groove funnels also have uh, has groove sell basically they can process the payments uh, of your clients uh, uh, they can process uh, those payments for you like Stripe or like uh, PayPal or like other payment processors so you have everything in one place uh, they actually have some very cool features and we will talk uh, about them a little uh, later in uh, in a different lecture so if you are going to decide to work with uh, with uh, with them for the payment processing uh, you also uh, you will also have some benefits on the financial side now, after you log into the dashboard, again, in the upper part, in the quick link section, you will have the manage products option. If you are going to click on the manage products option, you are going to see uh, basically the dashboard, uh, sales, new sales, okay, all the stats, but we are not, uh, obviously, we are not seeing any stats right now because we, we don't, uh, we don't use it uh, for for any product at the moment, but the idea is that you can use it. Okay, and uh, what you will uh, look in the left side, what you look at in the left side menu. Okay, you can see that you have product funnels. If we are going to click on product funnels, a new menu will pop up for us, and you can see here that we had uh, a draft one created, but we are going to to delete it and create a new one basically here you can create the whole product funnel if you want to sell a, a product with group funnels you can create that here okay and you can see you have more options here you have product funnels affiliate portals coupons tracking links page trackings partner contracts sales tax settings domains okay so you can basically add your own domain and you can get affiliates to promote your product which is very very important basically group funnels can act as an affiliate network for you okay now uh, let me uh, let me go for uh, further with the information uh, if you are going to click on the new product funnel button in the top right corner you can start to create the product funnel okay we should give it a name test product internal name test test product one to three description testing the funnel currency usd no domain selected we just leave it like this okay create product fun and this is it okay the product has been created for us and you will see that we have some options okay to embed the code to edit the product funnel okay to add a new product to preview okay the price points and everything what we want to do is go on the edit button and now we will have to set all the info for our product okay test product test product one to three this is a front-end product not an upsell save and next now we have pricing one-time price we can also have trial we can set it at 17 dollars okay save and next oh, we have to put a description this price save and next you can see that we have to walk through all of the options the payment gateways apply for a merchant account set up gateways okay you can see here that you, you have many many options paypal groove cell payments credit card okay groove cell payments as i've told you you can apply for groove cell and we are going to show you in uh, in a different lecture how to do that and then you can uh, process your payments for groove cell for now we are we are just going to click on save and next 
the contents of the product funnel, which is the sales page URL, the sales page which you, you have probably created with the group pages, okay, uh, the thank you page, the refund period, you can set up a refund period, legally it's uh, you are uh, you are it's mandatory to to give at least 30 days you can give more it's up to you support information yes add my support information url help desk url and so on uh, we are just going to leave the option no don't add support so we don't have to type other things for now thank you page you don't have a thank you page test.com Thank you. Save and next. Wait a second. Okay, save and next. Okay, the checkout page. Here you can set up the checkout page. We are just going to leave it like that. The form fields, you can see you have more options here. We won't go into all the details. I just want to show you how to walk fast through the product funnel creation process. The pre-sell order, the post-sell order, no, don't, don't activate. These are more complex options for, let's say, more experienced marketers. Post-transaction URL. Okay. Save and next fulfillment. Memberships. If you have a membership, different integrations. If you have an integration with a membership platform or something. Webhook files. You can upload the files directly here. Okay save and next affiliates you can activate the affiliate program if you want to from here save and next proof widgets if you want to add or to create a proof widget okay this will basically uh, increase your conversion but we won't go into any details with that it's something that you can test and play with uh, around a little bit yourself so you can see if it's a good fit for your offer or not then save and next the finish option congratulations okay this is the tracking link for the product sales page you can then create promotional tools you have the option to create promotional tools or go back to the dashboard then save and exit and this is it our product funnel has been created thank you very much for watching and we are looking forward to see you in the next lecture